Hey guys, welcome to another video. So the question today is, why do most agencies and consultants fail at YouTube ads? Why do they fail at scaling YouTube ads and making them profitable? You've probably heard a lot of marketers talk about YouTube ads and say things like, it's just for branding, it's just for awareness, it's not for conversions. Uh, but it's one of those things, okay, like in life, there's a thousand and one ways to screw it up, okay? And there's only a handful of ways to get it right. And so, let's look at an analogy. Let's think about, uh, let's think about the NFL. To be a good football player, to be a great football player, I'll, I'll take a step back. To even be in the NFL, you have to be great, okay? So, you can't just be good. Good is not good enough. And it's the same thing with YouTube ads, right? So let's say your strength on the field is like your creative. Now some people will say, well, it's just, you just have to have good creative and you're good to go. And creative is, is indeed one of the most, most important aspects. If you have bad creative in YouTube, you're, you're done. You're done, okay? D-O-N-E. Now, every ad that you push out into the market doesn't have to convert. You just have to have wins. You have to stack a few wins for every few losses, right? You have to have a reasonable win rate on your ads, okay? Um, so you have to have a process for coming up with ideas that work and then iterating on those ideas, taking the data from what's worked and stretching that, and milking that as much as possible, and then knowing what are some educated guesses in terms of new ad ideas that you can create. So again, it's going back to having that, that process and knowing what formulas work with YouTube ads. So again, creative. The next thing is, is your traffic. You, can, you can't run YouTube ads and be successful on broad traffic. You can't do it based on just you know, some of the turnkey audiences that are available, you have to know how to create specific types of audiences that are customized towards your market or potential markets. And you have to test continually. This is not just throw a couple audiences up and they're just gonna stay, they're just gonna work forever. Even if you have one that works, you have to keep mining, I call it mining for new audiences, okay? Because just like an ad has an ad fatigue to it, an audience has an audience fatigue to it, okay? An audience, you could have a really good ad, but then you're gonna wanna test it in different audiences and watch at what point you start getting a diminished return. It's gonna vary depending on the audience, okay? You're gonna have ad fatigue setting in at a certain level of total spend in the market and then at a certain level of total spend in each individual audience, okay? Then on top of that, you know, this is going back to the whole NFL analogy of being nimble and strong and fast and all these things. You're able to adjust quickly. It's almost like day trading. You have to be in there and be able to know when to change budgets, when to change bids, when to get ahead of the algorithm. It's not just as simple as putting up a campaign and clicking maximize conversions or putting your target CPA in there and just betting the system is gonna take care of the rest. It just does not work that way. It does not work that way with YouTube ads. You have to get ahead of it by understanding what is the system actually going to do when you set this bid, when you put this number of ads in the campaign. And then you have to be one step ahead. You have to be like, okay, I know the system is gonna do this when I do that. Therefore, I'm going to make this adjustment ahead of time. That may sound a little uh, like hokey, but it's true. You have to almost have an intuition when it comes to YouTube ads. This is what I'm saying, guys. Yes, you can figure it out. By all means, do that, but it's gonna take you a lot of time and it's gonna cost you a lot of money to wait and sit it out. And it's also gonna cost you if you bring on agencies or consultants that really don't actually know what they're doing. They may make it sound like they do, but if they've never scaled a YouTube campaign over a million dollars a month, they probably don't know what they're doing. So that's why 
that's why you need to think about if you're an NFL player, turn YouTube ads media buyer, what would you do? Not sure if that really made any sense, but um, all right, well, I'm going to end it here, guys. Hopefully that's helpful. Drop a comment, drop a like, um, and I will see you guys on the next video.